Ever wondered what albuterol is and why it's important? Let's dive right into it. Albuterol, a common name in the medical world, is a type of bronchodilator. In simpler terms, it's a substance that helps to open up the airways in your lungs, making it easier for you to breathe. A marvel of modern medicine, it's a crucial player in the management of breathing problems. So, what makes albuterol so vital? The answer lies in its versatility. It's used to treat a variety of conditions that affect the respiratory system. From asthma, a chronic condition affecting millions worldwide, to chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD, albuterol is often the go-to treatment for these ailments. It's clear that albuterol holds a significant role in respiratory medicine. It's not just a medication, but a lifeline for many struggling with breathing difficulties. Now, you might be wondering, how does albuterol work? Well, let's dig into that. Albuterol, as a bronchodilator, has a specific mechanism of action. Now let's delve a bit deeper to understand how this wonder drug works. Picture this, your airways, those intricate passages that deliver oxygen to your lungs, are lined with smooth muscles. These muscles are usually relaxed, allowing for easy passage of air. However, when you have conditions like asthma, these muscles can tighten, making it difficult for air to pass through. This is where albuterol comes into play. Albuterol, a superhero in its own right, works by relaxing these tightened muscles in the airways. It's like a peace negotiator, soothing the tense muscles and restoring harmony so that air can flow freely again. It's a fast-acting drug and that's why it's often used for quick relief during an asthma attack. Albuterol binds itself to beta-2 adrenergic receptors in the airway, smooth muscles. This binding action activates a process that results in the relaxation of these muscles. When these muscles relax, the airways open up, allowing for increased airflow to the lungs. This means more oxygen gets to your lungs and you can breathe easier once again. But albuterol doesn't just stop there. It also helps in reducing the production of inflammatory chemicals that can cause swelling and irritation in the airways. So, it's not just a muscle relaxer, but also a peacemaker, calming down the inflammation that can contribute to an asthma attack. Remember, albuterol is not a cure for asthma or other chronic lung conditions. It's a relief provider, a guardian angel that swoops in when breathing becomes a battle. It's designed to provide quick relief from asthma symptoms, helping you catch your breath when you need it the most. So, albuterol helps in breathing. But it's not always rainbows and butterflies. There are side effects too, but we'll get into that in the next scene. For now, let's appreciate albuterol for its life-saving role in managing the symptoms of asthma and other lung conditions. Like any other medication, albuterol too has its share of side effects. Let's delve into the world of these side effects, both common and severe, to know exactly what you might be signing up for when you use albuterol. The most frequently observed side effects are usually mild and can include feelings of nervousness and shakiness. You might find yourself feeling more jittery or anxious than usual. This is because albuterol can stimulate your nervous system, leading to these symptoms. Another common side effect is a faster heartbeat. You might feel your heart pounding or racing, which can be a bit disconcerting if you're not used to it. This happens because albuterol works by relaxing the muscles around your airways to help you breathe easier, and this can inadvertently affect your heart rate. While these side effects can be mildly uncomfortable, they're usually not dangerous. However, if they persist or worsen, it's always a good idea to seek medical advice. Now let's move on to the more serious side effects. These are less common, but they require immediate medical attention. These can include chest pain, irregular heartbeat, and rapid breathing. Chest pain can be a sign that albuterol is affecting your heart in a way it shouldn't, and an irregular heartbeat can mean that your heart is struggling with the changes brought on by the medication. Rapid breathing, on the other hand, can be a sign that your body is trying to get more oxygen due to the changes in your lung function. So, it's essential to be aware of these side effects and to seek medical help if you experience any of them. Remember, your health should always be your top priority. And there you have it, a snapshot of the side effects associated with albuterol. It's important to remember that not everyone will experience these side effects and many people use albuterol with minimal or no side effects. Knowing about these side effects is crucial, but how about the dosage? How much is too much? Let's find out in our next segment. Dosage of albuterol is something that should be taken seriously. It's a powerful medication and like any other, it's essential to follow the prescribed dosage to the letter. 
This isn't just about ensuring the effectiveness of the drug, it's about your health and safety. Every person is unique and so are their medical needs. This means that the dosage of albuterol will vary from person to person. It's based on factors like your age, the severity of your condition and how you respond to treatment. Your healthcare provider will take all these into account when prescribing your dosage. So even if someone else's prescription seems similar to yours, don't make the mistake of self-adjusting your dosage. It's not worth risking your health. Now, what happens if you take more albuterol than recommended? Overdosing on albuterol can lead to severe consequences and it's something to be avoided at all costs. Overdose symptoms may include shaky hands, chest pain, fast or pounding heartbeats, nervousness, headache, dry mouth and even seizures. If you experience any of these signs, it's crucial that you seek immediate medical attention. Remember, albuterol is not a medication that you can take casually or without a proper understanding of the dosage. If you're unsure about anything, don't hesitate to ask your healthcare provider. They're there to help and guide you through your treatment. Also, if you've accidentally taken more than your prescribed dosage, don't panic. Instead, get in touch with a healthcare professional immediately. They'll know what steps to take to minimize the effects of the overdose. In the case of a missed dose, take it as soon as you remember. However, if it's near the time for your next dose, skip the missed one and go back to your regular schedule. Never take two doses at once to make up for a missed one. So far, you've learned a lot about albuterol. Let's take a moment to recap everything. Understanding albuterol is no rocket science. It's all about the basics. So let's take a moment to recap the key points we've discussed about this remarkable medication. Albuterol, a bronchodilator used primarily to treat breathing difficulties, is a godsend for individuals with conditions such as asthma or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. It's a part of that class of medicines that have the power to turn a potentially life-threatening situation into a manageable one. Albuterol works its magic by relaxing the muscles in the airways and increasing airflow to the lungs. It's like a breath of fresh air, quite literally, for those whose airways tend to tighten up without warning. The effectiveness of albuterol is undisputed, but understanding how it works helps us appreciate the science behind it and the thoughtfulness of those who developed it. While albuterol is indeed a lifesaver, it's important to remember that it's not without its potential side effects. Some of these can be relatively mild, such as a sore throat or a runny nose. Others, however, can be more serious, like rapid heartbeats or chest pain. It's crucial to keep in mind that these side effects are possibilities, not certainties. The idea is not to scare you away from albuterol, but to ensure you're aware and informed. And let's not forget about the importance of dosage. Albuterol is not a medication to be taken lightly or haphazardly. The right dosage can alleviate distressing symptoms, but an overdose can bring about a whole new set of problems. It's not about fear, but about respect. Respect for the medication, respect for its power, and respect for the fact that even life-saving medications need to be handled with care. In conclusion, albuterol is undoubtedly a vital part of the medical world, especially for those with breathing difficulties. Its power to relax airway muscles and increase airflow to the lungs can make the difference between a normal day and a trip to the emergency room. But like any other medication, albuterol comes with a responsibility. A responsibility to understand what it is, how it works, its potential side effects, and the importance of correct dosage. It's not just about taking a medication. It's about understanding it, respecting it, and using it wisely. So, as we wrap up our discussion on albuterol, let's remember the key points. It's a vital medication for those with breathing difficulties. It works by relaxing airway muscles. It has potential side effects. And correct dosage is crucial. Remember, albuterol is a lifesaver for many, but like any other medication, it must be used wisely and responsibly.